Hello, welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at a small little Bluetooth speaker. Quite an unusual design, um, apparently based on the aspects of a rugby ball. Cubic rugby modelling they call it. But it's not unattractive. Now straight away one good feature of this speaker is that it has a removable lithium iron battery. And that's a good thing because sometimes these internal batteries can burn out after about a year. It also has a 3.5mm stereo in jack, which means you can basically plug anything into this speaker that has a 3.5mm socket. Now the manufacturers are claiming 2-3 to three hours operation on a full charge, but I won't be testing that today. But there's no reason to doubt it. Another feature, which may be of some use to you, is you can actually receive calls from the actual speaker itself. It does have a built-in microphone. You can also plug in your own headphones, but I can't see the point of that because you may as well plug them straight into your device, but the feature's there anyway. So I picked this up on eBay, just under £10, about $15, and here's the actual seller, USA Shore 2008. So just to run through some of the important specs, charge time 2-3 to three hours, talk time on the telephone system 4 hours, music play time up to 3 hours, standby time 18 hours. Bluetooth effective distance 10 meters. Also has in a built-in FM radio, which we'll get to later. So here's the box as it arrived. A um, little bit disappointing. It had a slight kind of impression on the front of the box, like it's been crushed slightly. But luckily, it's actually quite well packed inside. So I've got the orange bezel here, but it was actually a choice of colours of the speaker bezel itself. So you can sort of choose that. And then you've got the specs on the back, which kind of mysteriously actually differ from the uh, specs actually inside the product itself. It's saying playtime 5 to 8 hours. I'm not quite sure what that is, but it says it has a music playtime of 3 hours actually in the actual instructions. But anyway, let's crack into it. So yeah, quite nicely packed really from China. Uh, instructions. Pleased to say that it's a full set of English instructions. Not particularly intuitive, I must admit, you have to kind of um, sort of dig about to find how, how to do the actual Bluetooth connection, things like that. That was under the uh, how to charge section, which is a bit strange, but at least they're English, they're not Chinese anyway, so they're good enough, just about sort of to get you going. So tucked in the back of the box, you've got uh, two cables. First cable out is your charging cable, that's a USB to a sort of flat style USB mini. And then your next cable is the connection cable, which is a 3.5mm twin rail cable. Now, yeah, not too bad. I, I've been a bit sort of like happy with a slightly longer cable for this to connect to your sort of older MP3 players and the like, but yeah, it does the job, I guess. And then you've got the unit itself, as I say, you know, quite well packed. Um, no complaints there at all. So uh, here it is, and it's uh, fantastic rugby ball shaped, and yeah, quite impressive really. I mean, it's sort of um, straight away. It's got this kind of rubberized, sort of plasticky coating, which uh, was all the rage about ten years ago. But it's not, it's not unpleasant. Feels quite solid. Feels like it's quite nicely made for ten quid. I can't really, mo you know, moan about that. All of the uh, connections are at the back of the unit, and then you've got the buttons on the top. And there you go. It's all there. We even got an input for a, a TF, so a small little uh, micro card there. To, I imagine that will play MP3 files. So we'll turn it straight on because you normally get a little bit of charge with these things. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. <laughs> what was that? I think that said that uh, in Chinese that the Bluetooth is ready to pair. And as you can see, I've got like a uh, little blue flashing light there. So we'll we'll try and compare that with my iPhone in a minute. But uh, yeah, lovely Chinese verb there. Very very Chinese. Okay, I'll just get my uh, my iPhone. Now this is an iPhone 4s. So as I say, that's flashing blue, which I'll assume that it's uh, ready to actually pair to the device. So we'll just go on to the Bluetooth settings on the iPhone here. And yeah, it has found the device. It is actually saying, there it is, it's, uh, it's come up. And we'll just click that to pair. And that's what we get. It says pairing unsuccessful. Which is a little strange because I don't normally get any trouble with the actual iPhone 4S. 
So yeah, going through as I say, going through the instructions, it's not actually that clear how you do this. It's actually buried in the how to uh, charge the Bluetooth speaker section, but it just says you basically switch it on, wait for the tone. And then, the Bluetooth um, device is ready to so pair. I couldn't quite get it to pair on the iPhone 4S, so I've just dropped back to an older iPhone 4 here. And I'm pleased to say that no problems at all. The Bluetooth device is connected. connected successfully. And there you go. So I'm not quite sure what the issue was with the iPhone 4S. It's a little disappointing, but as I say, if it's connecting with the 4, then uh, maybe, maybe it was my phone. Maybe that was it. So I'll just go to the actual music player on the iPhone and just see if it actually is going to play something through. I have to be careful here because I get done by the YouTube police. But uh, let's just see if it actually works. So we'll choose some audio. I dropped a fistful of quarters into the lockers, took the keys and leaned against the wall to catch my breath, thinking I should try to make time for the gym and stop her body work. I trotted back to the front of the building pushed my way through the doors to the McDonald's franchise, and bought Eula a container of low-fat milk. So I that worked back no problem, I was quite pleased with that, it sounded quite clear there with audio. So what we do now, we will try a little bit of music, we'll risk the YouTube please, I'll, I'll do a live section of music, and then I'll leave this playing for about a minute or so, to actually see what the quality is like. impressed with that to be honest I don't know how it comes through on the camera but it's quite a nice clear sound it's quite clarified nice bit of treble very sort of slight hint of bass but for a Bluetooth transmitted signal yeah pretty pleased with that I think we'll hear a little bit more quite pleased with that to be honest I mean bear in mind if you actually used 3.5 millimeter jacked connection cable it's only going to sound even better you normally lose a little bit over Bluetooth but uh, yeah no complaints for the sound at all quite good okay so I'm going to check the built-in FM radio function so what you do for that is you hold down the mode button and then the uh, radio goes off and scans through all the frequencies and then automatically stores them into the unit and then you're supposed to um, just, just scan through them as it goes but you know what it just didn't work for me I, I, I've done this about three times now and unfortunately it's not actually stored anything so I guess that's a little bit of a fail I mean it's not something I would actually use on the radio myself but I do feel that if it's there it, it should work so yeah a little disappointing that okay the final test that I did was to try out that 10 meter range on the Bluetooth. Now it says 10 meters but you know come on, as we know time you actually put walls and floors into the equation you normally actually sort of lose that but you know I was pleased to say that I, I just played some music on the iPhone I walked all the way around the house and I had no drop out at all it worked really really well. So just to sum it up overall I'm actually quite impressed with this speaker as a Bluetooth speaker it works absolutely fine it's got quite a good range to it and even the sound quality is quite good audio was particularly clear music pretty good actually uh, treble's got a nice definition a small amount of bass nothing major as you'd expect it's only got two very very small built in speakers but yeah pretty good I mean £10 $15 well you're not going to get a great deal but uh, I'd say this is actually very good value for money 
a little bit disappointed with the FM radio. Yeah, it's a shame that didn't work. I mean, to be honest, I couldn't see myself actually using that at all. Didn't test the phone function, but it probably does work absolutely fine. I tend to review a lot of these cheap little crappy Chinese products, so please subscribe if you want to see more. But as always, I'd like to say thanks for watching. Bye bye.